What's up, DJ Tech Tools? Mad Zach here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to shred like a beast on your MIDI controller in the same fashion that Jimi Hendrix stood in front of an amp and played with feedback. With a little bit of clever routing and a guitar distortion pedal, I've been able to create the same sort of effect using a MIDI controller. It's super fun. So first of all, uh, with the knobs, I can bring in the feedback and modulate it. So that's a little demo of what it sounds like in action. Uh, that in particular was applied to my most recent sample pack that I created. So it's just a bunch of drum stuff uh, routed through the distortion pedal and doing some feedback. Okay, so if you want to take a look at the way I have it routed, here's the drum MIDI track, which is hosting a bunch of samples. Um, but whatever is going on there doesn't quite matter. This is the important part right here. So whereas normally this would say master, and be routed towards the master bus. I have it set for external out, and then I've selected channel three. So it's sending all of the output from this channel out output three on my interface. So these two right here are where the main audio is going out to the mixer, but this cable right here, which is plugged into output three, is what's carrying all the signal for the drums. And then if you follow this cable around, this cable is actually going into the distortion pedal and the distortion is on and I have it dialed in, you'll want to pick a distortion pedal that has a lot of bass response. A lot of them are designed more for the mid-range because they're for guitars generally. Um, so I, I went through a bunch and picked this one out because I thought it had a great bass response. But um, to continue with the routing, I have it then the signal coming out the distortion pedal and as you can see here, it's actually going back into the interface. So that's all that's happening as far as the cabling. And then to come back here into the software, I've created a new audio track um, to receive this signal from the distortion pedal. So as you can see here, external in, pulling from input one. And then here's the real trick. This is what creates the feedback. What I've done is created a, a new send track. And whereas normally the send track, just like the, the one that I said before was routed at, out external three, would be routed to the master. Here I've said external out, and it is routing back out channel three. So what's happening is that when I play the drum sound, it comes out output three, goes into the distortion pedal, back into input one, and comes in on an audio track here. And then the key is that um, by putting onto a slider the send for send A, I'm able to actually send that signal back out again and into the distortion pedal, creating a feedback loop. So to demonstrate, even if I'm not playing any drum sounds, I can raise that feedback level up here, and then using my filtering on that send channel, I can actually control, control the tone of it. So this would be the equivalent of coming closer to the amp or farther away from the amp. Uh, there's so many fun possibilities. This is definitely one of the most fun little tricks that I've ever discovered that you could do with Ableton and a MIDI controller. <clears throat> so I highly recommend you try it out. Again, all you need to set this up is an audio interface that has more than two outputs and a few inputs and a distortion unit or a distortion pedal. This one was like 80 bucks. I found it used. If you've already got a distortion pedal and you want to try this out, just check out the link below. I've put up a little template that takes care of the routing in the Ableton side, and then you can just follow the diagram that I've included in the article uh, as far as how to set it all up with your wires. And uh, yeah, have a great time with it. I know you will. Mad Zach for DJ Tech Tools. Have a great day. <laughs>